Now here in Milwaukee, four MPD officers have been charged within the past week, arrested for various crimes. TMJ4 Sarah McGrew spoke to the Police Association about accountability and the department's standards for officers. Last Thursday, we learned that a Milwaukee police detective was arrested for sexual assault. Earlier that day, another MPD officer was arrested for a battery allegation. And this week, two officers were charged, one with child abuse and the other with disorderly conduct and obstructing an officer. The police association knows that these cases can lead to a loss of trust in officers. I don't know what happened in any of these cases or the individual incidents of them. But when you have an incident like this and it makes public news, it obviously erodes some of that trust that the community has in law enforcement. And that is becoming more and more of a problem, not just here in Milwaukee, but across the country. A Gallup poll shows Americans' confidence in police has been declining since 2016. In 2020, less than 50% of Americans said they had a great deal or quite a lot of confidence in police. Andrew Wagner, the Milwaukee Police Association president, says they're working to get public trust back. And it's hard, and that's why we get that back each and every day by every action we take. Part of our rules are making our, our violations of public trust, so that's rule violations that they can be disciplined on all the way up to termination. He can't speak to incidents happening in other departments like in Memphis, Tennessee, but here in Milwaukee, he believes officers should be held to a higher standard. There is no special um, circumstance for officers. If anything, they're, they, they're looked at as more harshly as citizens, and they should be. Um, I think there's a, a line that officers should hold that is above the rest of the community of, of professionalism, and that's I think that's what we're, we expect out of our officers. While the four Milwaukee cases play out in court, there will also be internal investigations in the department. The union is legally bound to represent officers through that process. But if their criminal actions are um, bringing discredit upon the rest of our membership, where we believe that um, their actions have caused severe miscredit, then we will not represent them um, after our legal or, or, or we have to legally. Even though public perception has dropped, Wagner doesn't believe it's a major factor when it comes to recruitment. Whether it's the hours of work or the, the time of, away from holidays and things like that, I think there's a bigger picture that just says, is this a factor? It can be, but um, I think there's larger issues in this that, that are affecting recruitment. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News. And in a statement, the Milwaukee Police Department told us they hold their members to the highest level of integrity and that these incidents are currently under review.